Hey. So, I said a while back that I was going to start a video, log, or blog, vlog, whatever. And I guess today I wanted to start it because I wasn't, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, I'm kind of feeling upset. I've had a lot of, well, I'll get to that in a second. I just don't feel too well. And, um... What reminded me was my best friend messaged me on Facebook asking why I'm not talking to her and I'm just like, okay, whatever, like, this is why I just don't feel up to doing anything. I don't feel like going anywhere. I just want to lay in bed. I don't want to do anything. I've The reason why is because I've had a lot of things going on in the last month and a half and, I mean, I'm not going to get too into detail. The people closest to me are aware of what happened and I just... For the record, I just want to say that I'm aware that I fucked up, and I'm an adult, so I'm going to deal with the consequences the way that they are given to me, so, um, and I'm going to take them. Yeah, it's going to suck when it happens, um, which one thing, literally tomorrow morning, I have something that I have to deal with, and a week from tomorrow, I have another big thing, could be possibly life-changing thing that I have to deal with. And it's been extremely stressful, and I just, the only way I know how to deal with it, like, the whole first month, I was perfectly fine. Like I just said, I'm aware that I fucked up, and I'm going to deal with the consequences like I'm supposed to. Because that's how I was raised, that's how my mama told me, like, you fuck up, you deal with it. Okay? Cool. Uh, I'm 20 years old, I know that I have to deal with it now. Um, but... It's the way I dealt with it was literally just not even thinking about it. I was just going about my day for literally 35 days straight, just going about my day, not worrying about a damn thing. And then one day it just clicked. And I'm sitting at home with my husband and his one of his really close friends, and I just started crying. Um, I had a breakdown. I cried for like three hours straight. I didn't know what the hell I was like what was going on I felt like I was just going crazy and I just started ranting like it's not all my fault it's whatever like but then of course I stopped crying and I realized you are an adult you're 20 years old you're allowed to have that little freak out moment for a minute and as long as you snap back into it and not every day you're sitting around depressed crying about it you need to deal with it the way that you're supposed to you're an adult like I keep saying I am 20 years old now I was allowed to have that freak out day because for 35 days straight I didn't even worry about the situation that's been going on so I believe that out of a month and a week I'm allowed to have one day that I'm allowed to sit down and cry for three hours straight um, because of the situation and like I said it's potentially life-changing and it's terrifying it really is and I think that's why I've been feeling not as important as I, I'm not really important, but whatever, um, how I would usually feel. And I'm usually an upbeat, happy person. You can ask everyone that I talk to and hang out with, but it's just different lately because I know that things are about to change and I'm used to planning things out and having a set time for things to be done and doing things with people and whatever. But now I'm looking over my shoulder. I, I can't, plan anything. My best friend wants me to go see her in September and I I honestly highly doubt it's going to happen because I don't know where my life is going in these next two weeks. I don't know what's going to happen and it's terrifying to me but I know that I'm going to get through it because I do have the people who care about me. My husband, my parents, my best friend, my roommate. I, she cares about me obviously um, but it's still hard but I think the thing I, the reason I want to start doing these is because if shit does change, um, if anyone else is going through something, like maybe I could be a helpful hand or ear to listen to or give you my insight or even <laughs> make you feel better by how shitty my problem is. Um, but I do want to say thank you to the people who do care about me and who are here for me on a daily basis. Yeah, I don't get to talk to my parents as much or see them as much as I'd like to because they live so far away. But I still want to say thank you to them because they raised me being who I am. And I have the morals that I do and 
the brains that I do and the way that I think about things uh, because of them. And I, I love you guys and I want to say thank you for that. And I have my husband who keeps my ass on track every day, which is a good thing, especially because I've fucked up. <laughs> um, I love him and I'm glad that he's here because I would probably be in a really bad situation if not. Um, like just recently I almost beat a girl's ass and she was pregnant because I was in a bad mood and she decided to be in my way. Um, my roommate also helped stop that. She's like, no, you can't do this. You have things that you need to be doing other than getting in trouble. Um, my best friend, I've known her almost 10 years now. She's not even my best friend. She's my sister. Um, sister from another mister or whatever you want to call it. Um, and just the close people to me, like Red and my our Canadian or whatever, her boyfriend. Um, just the people that I've met in the last year alone have had a really big impact on my life. And I want to say thank you to all of you guys for that. But um, kind of switched, which I'm good, uh, switched things on the video. But I guess these are going to happen maybe once a week, I guess, because I'd rather, I feel like not very many people know me. And this is, I guess, a good way to do it. Because I have tons of people on my Facebook who've never met me in person. So maybe this is a good way. You can watch my video. Yeah, it might be ten minutes long. might be two minutes long. But you can still get to know me. And, you know, maybe have a conversation. <laughs> or listen to my video and realize, oh, well, I'm going through, through some shit too. Maybe this will help. We can talk or whatever. But I'm here for anyone who wants to talk. I'll listen. I'm a good listener. I listen to everybody. And the thing is, like, we all fuck up. We're human beings. Nobody's perfect. So...